Have you guys ever played Red Dead Redemption now? If you have, I'm sure you think it's a great game, but I was playing it the other day because it, it was a discounted. Nigel West Dickens, this guy, it's Liver King, reminds me of Nigel West Dickens. You don't know, he's a bit of a fraudster. He pretends to sell you water in a bottle and says it will cure you for life. I was just fucking playing it. I was like, saw a, saw a video get posted. Liver King is uh, on death's door. He's dying. He promised the world, he told us that taking any sort of liver, these raw meats, uh, taking his supplements, taking these supplements that very kindly he supplies and his business actually sells. That's nice of him. If you take them, you can get abs like this. Firstly, he looks like the barbarian of the Clash of Clans, you know, like the little blonde dudes. I mean, it's not a good look, I don't understand. If you've not seen recently, his health is deteriorating. The man is pretty much on death's door by the look of it. I believe in karma, I believe that everything you do, you get back in return this man sold a set of dreams sold some lies tended he wasn't on steroids and now he's paying the price he can't move he's got electric pads strapped to his tits Oops. he is practically on death's door but we're gonna watch this video we're gonna see what it's about liver king f statement his will he is reading us let's see what he has to say what is up my primals i'm following all the doctor's orders i have not left bed this is my day bed I'm following all the orders. Just, I mean, like, you know, he's on death's bed, basically. He looks horrific. His face is all puffy and swollen and looks like he's aged about 30 years in the space of two. And look, that's what it does to you, going for fame, going for money, going for glory. This guy had a taste of it. And I'll be honest, I kind of fell for it as well. I've tried liver. Uh, I cook it because I'm not stupid. And I I'll be honest, liver is really good for you. It's really healthy. There's really uh, lots of nutrients and density in it. I don't know the words, but it is really good for you. But it tastes like dog shit. It tastes like utter shit. So I'm not... I'm not I'm not stuck by it. I'm just looking at this guy's green pool and thinking, fuck me. The pool reflects your inner thoughts, my friend. Your pool is looking disgusting. Almost as bad as your exterior. It's almost a metaphor. Not working out. But here's the thing. There's always 126 ways to solve for any problem. When you think your back's against the wall. When you think you have no other options. There's always 126 ways to solve, to figure it out, to progress, to evolve. I like to say this one word. I do it a lot. It's called... More. <laughs> He can't help himself, he can't help but just turning it into some sort of pathetic sort of rally cry in order to get people to, you know, think he's some extremely heroic and god-saving man. He has basically just gone and said, I'm dying, I look like shit, I'm fucking strapped here, I'm bed-bound by doctors, I can't do anything, probably shitting out my guts, I'm just not telling you that, guys. But, more, more steroids, more liver. You work out from the bed, uh, uh, how many... Or what level is that? 24. 24? Alright, I think Thanos got to 30. Let's get me to 30. We're going to 30. What number is that? He looks so uncomfortable, doesn't he? And what's he on about? What number is that? He, like, has he been smoking something on the side as well? He looks like he's absolutely... <sighs> Alright, let's go ahead and crank it to 35. More. Every time I say more, let's go up by 5. More. 40. More. 45. Oh More. You want to know Liver King's ab routine? Number one, they're called ab implants. Look how uncomfortable he looks, though. I mean, he's making light and joking about this, but this is a serious situation. The man looks like he's about to drop dead. His kids are going to have no father before they know it. What's he called? Liver boy and liver kid or whatever. They are literally needing friendly behaviour. I don't... It just shows, though, he sold his soul for a bit of cash, a bit of fame, a bit of money, and everyone knows who the liver king is now. You know, he's some guy who eats raw testicles and says it's better for you than vegetables. It's like, you know, what it's simply... It's that Thanos meme, isn't it? You know the meme I'm talking about? It's like, what did it cost? everything. That's what it literally is. What did you have to do? This guy was rich before all this YouTube stuff, so he clearly didn't do it for money. He just did it for fame, for popularity. He pretends he wanted to help the world and boost everyone and, uh, you know, help people find this secret. And look, it's even more embarrassing now that the secret is out that this shit will actually kill you. Huh? What a weird thing that is. It turns out eating raw food, raw eggs, raw testicles, raw meat, shit like that, actually is bad for you. What the? Jesus. This is such a shock. This is my shocked face. You know what I mean? Like, surely you could have been told that. Like, I, I could have told you that, mate. Liver king, liver boy king. Eating raw stuff is not good. You learn that in primary school, boy. And this is how you maintenance them once a year. You got to hook it up to the compartments. That's why I got 12 of these pads on me. Because I got a 12 pack, you know. But you wanted to know. Here, here it is.
I got a 12 pack. Man's got a 12 pack. But you, you, you look at this guy and you think, at the end of the day, what's happened to you? You've sold your soul. You wanted fame, you wanted fortune, you wanted this name, this Liver King brand, you wanted to sell more things to your businesses, and you've done that. I'm sure a lot of people buy your stuff. At the end of the day, what he was preaching was 12% right. Yeah, you need to eat well, you need to eat meat, you need to eat healthy. Uh, no vegetables is obviously not quite right. And all this blibber blabber jibber jabber that he's given, that he's spoken about, he's coming to bite him in the bum sheets. He's basically tried making this way of life factual, he's tried making his own Bible almost, and it's almost like at the very end now jesus christ is on the cross he is absolutely about to get killed this man is 46 looking around 70 my dad has not been to the gym once he eats not unhealthily but he doesn't eat healthily and i can guarantee you know he loves a pint of rooney and i can guarantee he looks better than this guy i mean look how uncomfortable he's looking right now he's he, he's practically in trouble i think is the answer i'd love to know what his doctor said to him he should have filmed that shit put it on the internet he's made cracky jokes that he's got a 12 pack his eyes are all puffy and red and all that shit his mummy milk is a looking like they're about to implode and explode i mean it's truly a sad state of affairs it's a sad day it's a sad time to be a liver king fan and i think the, the wor worst part is is that he was actually did hold some good entertaining videos it, it just came out like you know when he came out and said that he wasn't on steroids i just thought you know obviously you're on steroids mate you can clearly tell you're on steroids you don't get this from eating liver that was the first red flag when he lied obviously and then now he is obviously lied even more so, got even into more trouble, pretending he's, you know, on par with Thanos and that he can keep going, you know, it's just ridiculous, isn't it? I mean, he's got two watches on, that should have been a red flag, I mean, someone arrest the man, two, two watches, fucking... Poonani. Anyway, I want to know what you guys thought. Did you guys ever like Liver King? Let me know down below. It's a sad state of affairs, but I do believe in karma. I get it. I do believe you get what you're given. And you're getting given back what you have given. You know, you probably pissed off a lot of people by lying. You probably, you know, I'm, I'm not an idiot enough to spend money on these products and shit like that. But I, I can imagine the people who did spend money on his products are probably feeling a little bit let down right now. And also, I heard he was getting sued as well. So I think that's probably going to have a detrimental effect on him. I mean, look at his face. It just looks terrible, doesn't it? I truly do not give a shit. You get what you're giving, mate. Let me know what you guys think. I want to hear everything. If you enjoyed it at all, a like really helps. Just get the video out there. You know, it helps other people see it who might be interested. If you didn't like it, no. If you didn't like it, don't worry. I'd, I'll, I'll forgive you. Leave me a comment there. What's your opinion on Liver King? Did he get what he deserved? Is he a king or is he a massive stain on the pants after you've had a big Indian the night before? You guys let me know and I'll catch you when Liver King dies.